fight, the fight You did it in a fight last time Motherfucker, you're addicted to your life You gotta fight Alright, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing to him. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 122 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, Golden. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this make fight. advantage there with that punch, DC. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Checks the leg kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Flips to avoid the right. Great punch. Oh, 
Just missing on the uppercut there. Look at him drive his shin to the body with that body. Under three minutes remain in round one. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows touch to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, he'll change his stance. And there comes the separation now. Just misses with that one. Final seconds here of round one. Beautiful body kick. Stop, stop, stop. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see. Rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. And they separate. What a body kick. You better get that elbow down, or he's going to keep blasting those body kicks right into your ribs. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Big kick lands. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Combinations here. Separate. Just misses with the jab there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. All 
right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than that. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. from the moment they touch glove. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of.